In this demonstration, we're going to look at managing in-place archiving. So what I've done in my Exchange Admin Center, I've already highlighted all of my IT users. Now I've highlighted all my IT users, we can see I now have my bulk edit. And if we scroll this down, what we can see here is we can manage quite a few of the settings. But what we're interested in here is we're interested in enabling my archiving. So to do that, I come to More Options. Then within More Options, all I'm going to do at this point here is I'm going to enable the archive. Then what we'll do is we'll just browse through. We need to specify which database we want to put the archive onto. So we'll go with Research and select OK. Now we've done that. It's telling us we've selected 40 objects. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll select the Save button. As we can see, it's now editing those 40 objects. So what we'll do at this point is we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the job is complete. So the job is now complete, so we'll select Close. And what we'll do is we'll do a refresh. And now we've done our refresh, what we can see here under the archive, we can now see that all of these users have their archive on the research database. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just move over to one of our other machines. We've logged in as Michael. Uh, we've logged in as Michael on OWA. And what we can see down here now is we now have an in-place archive. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration. Thank you.